In this video, we're going to be taking a look at accelerated motion and what that looks like on a position versus time graph, velocity versus time graph, and acceleration versus time graph. So we'll talk about some general characteristics first in identifying accelerating graphs, and then we're going to go ahead and draw a few different graphs so you can see what they look like. Now, when I'm talking about accelerated motion, I'm talking about uniform accelerated motion, which means that the acceleration remains constant. Now, for the position versus time graph, because the rate that it's moving continually changes, that means the line is going to be curved, which shows you that the slope or velocity, whichever way you look at it, is changing. For the second one, the velocity versus time graph, um, because it's um, accelerated motion, that means the velocity is always changing. So for this one, we are always going to have a slanted but straight line. And then for our third one, because we're talking about uniform accelerated motion, then we're talking about acceleration that is just a flat line every single time. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at some different graphs. Now, we have two main types of graphs that are going in the positive direction. You'd have one that is speeding up and then one that is slowing down. Okay, to distinguish the difference is anything that's speeding up is going to have a slope that gets progressively steeper or more vertical. And then for something that's slowing down, you have something that's progressively more flat. Now, both of these are going in the positive direction, and that's pretty easy to identify because that's basically anything that's rising up on the graph is going in the positive direction, and anything that's getting lower on the graph is in the negative direction. So we have one that's slowing down in red and one that's speeding up in orange. And because both of these are going in the positive direction, they will be above the x-axis. If we were below the x-axis, that would be in the negative direction. So our red one is going to be in the positive, but decreasing, heading towards zero. And then our orange one is going to be above the x-axis, except it's going to be moving away from zero to show that the numbers are increasing. Now, going in the other direction, it's the same sort of thing, except if you're in the negative direction, you're going to be starting a little bit higher in the graph and then getting lower. But you want to make sure your line is getting progressively steeper or more flat. Remember, steeper means that the rate is increasing, which means it's speeding up. Becoming more flat is decreasing, which means it's slowing down. So if I want to go lower on the graph but show that it's getting steeper, I'm going to start a little bit on the flatter side and then swoop down and then get more and more vertical. And then that's going to be speeding up in the negative direction. Now for the next one, we want to come down on the graph, except we want to start off sort of fast and then become more and more flat. And that would be slowing down in the negative direction. Okay. So remember the rule for showing speeding up or slowing down on a velocity versus time graph isn't a positive or negative slope. That's a common misconception because a negative slope here is slowing down, which is a little bit more of an intuitive answer. But if you want to show something slowing down on the bottom in the negative direction, it's actually going to be a positive slope. It's going to look like this. Okay, so why is it a positive slope? To show that it's a greater negative number, and then that negative number is um, decreasing its magnitude until it reaches zero. Okay, so remember, negative just means direction. So if it goes from negative 5 to negative 4 to negative 3 to negative 2 to negative 1, that means it's going slower and slower. So if it moves towards the x-axis or towards 0, that means it's slowing down. Now for our purple one, if it's negative and speeding up, it's going to start at 0 over here, and it's going to slant away from the x-axis to show that that negative value is increasing. So remember, this is speeding up. This one is slowing down. Our orange one is speeding up. And then our red one is slowing down. Now, when you take a look at the acceleration versus time graph for these, um, it's fairly simple. You just want to take a look at the slopes. And we basically have two types of slope, which is a constant positive slope 
for the orange and the gray. And we have a constant negative slope for the red and the purple. So the red and the purple would basically be the same exact graph because they have a constant negative slope. And then for the orange one and the gray one, they would basically be the same graph because they have a constant positive acceleration. Now, the final thing I want to explain is how a positive acceleration could make something go faster or slower. So let's give an example of a number. We'll say that this is maybe um, positive two meters per second squared, which means that you're adding two meters per second per second. And then all the way around for here, if this is a negative, negative two meters per second squared so that you're subtracting two meters per second per second. Okay, so let's talk about the two positive ones. If you're adding positive two to a positive number, it's gonna make it increase. It's gonna make it go from two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, and so on. Now for the gray one, say for example, if you're starting at negative 10 and then you're adding positive two to it, then you're making it negative 10, negative eight, negative six, and you're actually decreasing that negative value and making it go closer to zero. Because remember, the negative is just the direction. So you're really making it go from 10 meters per second to eight meters per second to six meters per second and so on. And then on the other end, the negative accelerations could speed something up or slow it down. Again, we have negative two added to a positive number. Negative added to a positive number is gonna shrink it down towards zero. And then if you already have a negative velocity and you're subtracting two, it's gonna become greater and greater in the negative direction. So you're gonna be going faster and faster in the negative direction. So to sum things up, these are three main characteristics, curved, slanted, and flat, you're gonna to wanna to be aware of for accelerated motion graphs, but then also be aware of how they get steeper or more flat on the position versus time graphs and how to translate on the velocity versus time graph. As I said, the main rule is, is it going away from the x-axis to show it's speeding up or is it going towards the x-axis to show that it's slowing down? Put it above the x-axis if it's in the positive direction and below if it's in the negative direction. And then your position, or excuse me, your acceleration versus time graphs are just gonna show flat lines to show the slope of your velocity versus time graph. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.